Okay, today I'd like to give you an overview of Pyrogy Power Solutions Portable Solar Generator. And this is the 201 unit. It's military rugged and waterproof and right out of the box it comes with everything you need to get started. It, um, it comes with a 10 watt foldable solar panel. And you just lay that out in the sun. It also has a small cord with it. You can get longer cords um, if you need to run your panel elsewhere. And the cord just plugs into a receptacle on the back of the panel. It's a key receptacle. And then um, you can turn your unit on and then plug your other end into the solar input. And it's pretty much ready to go right there. And uh, right now we have a 45 watt panel outside. So we're going to plug that one in instead. And this kit can actually handle up to 50 watts of solar input. Um, so you can either link flexible panels together, or you can use multi-crystalline panels, you can use monocrystalline panels. So what we have outside right now happens to be a 45 watt monocrystalline panel. So um, as soon as I plug that in, you will see the solar input light come on, and you'll probably see the battery meter um, start climbing. So I plug that in now, solar light's on, and battery meter started climbing. So as you can see, the solar panel has our unit already up to 13.4 volts um, charging. When I unplug the solar panel, it's going to drop down, of course. I'm actually going to unplug it right now so I can show you something brand new. Um, I'll unplug the solar panel, and it should drop down a little bit. It's holding pretty steady. I'll, I'll put a load on it, so um, that way it drops down a little bit faster. We have a 60 watt light bulb over here, here and I'll just plug this in into the one pan. The light bulb just blue. The light bulb blue. I don't know why. Cut. And that was a good example of why not to use um, incandescent bulbs. They're very fragile. This is a 60 watt equivalent, except this only actually uses 13 watts. Puts off the same light as a 60 watt light bulb. So I'll just plug this in. The only problem is now, we're not going to draw our battery down as fast as I want it. Okay, so here's what I really wanted to show you. Pergy Power's multi-port wind turbine interface. And all you need to do is plug this into Pergy Power's multi-port and plug your wind turbine into the wind end. And the other port here is another multi-port. So, you plug this into the multi-port and you still have your solar in available here. So it can be a hybrid unit. And then you plug your wind turbine in to the wind end. And you see the power light come up. And then right now it's on free spin, so it's out there free spinning. And when you want it to charge, you just flip the switch to on. And now this unit's actually charging from wind power. And also if you want to do both, you can do both. This is a solar panel in. You can just hook it up to a solar in right in the kit. And now you're doing solar and wind input. Um, so if you want to slow down the wind turbine, right now it's on. You can flip it back to free spin and brake, which will actually slow down the turbine and bring it to a stop. So this can run small to medium appliances, devices, and um, 12 volt fan right here, oscillating fan. You can also run um, 12 volt lights, 12 volt job light. So besides having the 12 volt um, receptacle like your car has, it also has 110 uh, household receptacles, um, 110 AC, this is 200 watts continuous for this kit and 400 watts peak. Um, so to use these uh, outlets, all you do is you flip this AC switch on and green light comes on and then you can use these outlets just like you would in your house.
You can run black lights. You can run strobe lights. You could run a disco ball if I had one.